Hi there. So today I want to talk about managing your environment and how it sets you up for success. Now, many of you who watch my videos know I'm a massive fan of Atomic Habits by James Clear, an absolutely incredible book. And it's a point he brings up in terms of when you manage your environment, it means you have to rely less than on grit or um, motivation or discipline. OK, um, we're essentially making the playing field a bit easier for ourselves. So, you know, he talks about if you want to drink more water, make it easier to get access to water. You know, if you want to cut down on the amount of chocolate you're eating, make it difficult to get the chocolate. OK, and it's interesting because I was working with a client. And, you know, we, we do work in the business and then obviously work on the business. And we introduced a, a program whereby when he's working on the business, he now leaves the physically leaves the building and he goes to his favorite coffee shop and spends a couple of hours there with a notebook or a writing pad, has a couple of cups of his favorite coffee. And that sets him up for freedom, creativity, you know, blue sky thinking. So again, managing that environment it's it's a more creative environment and more relaxing one and it gets away from the day-to-day -day execution and more in terms of the strategic thinking of the big the big big picture so i suppose the question today is you know what's one thing that you could either introduce to your environment that you work in or one thing that you would remove from your environment that you work in that would make a difference to how impactful and how effective you are in terms of your role and with your team. So I hope that helps.